Hi, and welcome to my home studio. Today we're going to be doing nail polish marbling on a bunch of different surfaces. Um, it works on plastic, glass, metal, ceramic stuff, just whatever you got at home. Um, I've made this plastic bottle for starters. I'm going to show you. I also made a cute label for it. Looks pretty good. And welcome to Arts Etobico online. I'm very glad that you can join us on the internet. And um, I'm so excited I even put on makeup. How about that? Now, I had a lot of leftover nail polish that I never use because I never put on nail polish, not even today to do this video. Um, so I'm just using what I have at home, which was white and silver. You can use whatever color you want, scrounge around your house, see if anyone has some nail polish they were planning on throwing out. You never know, you might get lucky and then you can make this video with us. So here's what you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need some water and an empty, I've got an empty glass storage jar, but you can use something plastic or something ceramic. Um, you're gonna need a container and you want to make sure that the container is something you can just throw in the garbage afterwards because you don't want to use it for anything else afterwards um, because the nail polish won't come off. And then you're going to need a stick to stir with. Now this could be a toothpick or a skewer. Um, I've got an extra long matchstick because I don't have any of those. You're going to need some tape. Um, it could be gaffer tape or masking tape or packing tape. Um, my, the nail polish I've chosen is just white and silver. I wanted simple colors, so I've just gone with that. Um, you might need some scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut the tape. You might want some gloves to get the nail, not get the nail polish on your hands. And then um, in case of mistakes, I've also got some nail polish remover and then a couple of little Q-tips. So the first step is to make a label for your jar. This is just going to cover up the area that we don't want any, um, any nail polish on so we can paint a label on top of that. It's going to look really cute. Now I'm going to cut a little oval shape out of my tape. You can, um, you can just keep it as a square label and just tear it off and stick it on the jar right here. You don't have to cut it, cut it around, but I'm going to show you how to do it just in case you want to. So I'm just going to tear off a little bit of this tape and then put it down sticky side up. And then I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the curved edge of my jar to keep it nice and even. So you can use a pair of scissors for this if you want, but if you're using an X-Acto knife, like I am, remember that you might need something else underneath to protect the surface of your table. Um, my table has a cutting board into it, but remember it's always good to have something underneath. It's one side. So now I have a label with two nice even curves. I might just uh, clean up some of these feathered edges here. There, and I'm going to stick it on just like that. There, that's good enough. So now I've got these cute curves here. Looks nice and even. I'm making sure it's sort of in the middle. So I'm going to start by pouring the water in very carefully. I want it pretty full so I can dip the container all the way in. And then I want to start by pouring the silver on because that means that 
when we when I pour the white on top of that the silver will be on the surface first of all and when I'm from experimenting with this a little bit what I've noticed is that a little bit of nail polish is better than a lot so I'm just going to carefully drip some in you notice some of it sinks to the bottom but we want it to float on top if we can so I'm just going to drip in little bits at a time it's beautiful it looks like a galaxy and you see how it's just spreading across the surface of the water so we don't I'm going to let it wait and let it do that because we don't want it to be in any big clumps now I hope you have some nail polish at home maybe um, someone in your household has some that they want to throw out and they don't want anymore or you know you can use any color you want for this as well you know I've chosen to be simple and just uh, keep well keep mine simple with white and silver but you can use as many colors if you want as you want so the same with this I'm just gonna add a little bit I don't want too much So once you've poured on the nail polish, it's also important to remember that it's going to dry pretty quick. Um, it'll probably dry within five minutes, so you've got to make sure that you're doing your marbling pretty soon after you've poured it on. Now, I'm just using my stick to just spread it around a little bit. Because I want to see how it's already getting sticky and pulling out of the water. I'm going to have to dip this in real quick. So I just spread it around and I don't want any clumps. I'm just going to pull this up here as well and I'm just going to dip in, dip and turn at the same time around like that. Here I go. Oh, got to take these gloves off now. They're a bit too big. Okay, how did this turn out? Well, I got a little bit of this, but I'm okay with that. And then if I pull off this, you'll be able to see how it works. Oh, I love that. Now I've got a bit of a clump over here. Do you see that? I'm going to remove that before the nail polish dries. And I'm just going to put it upside down to dry. So another thing to remember, just as you clean up, that to always, see now this is dry a bit, you see how I can just lift it off with my stirring stick? And this is an important step because otherwise if you went and poured this down the drain without pulling the stuff off the surface, it would just stick to the grill inside your drain and I'm, I'm speaking from experience here, so, but I've totally done this, I confess. And it will be impossible to get off, and that means that your drain will be a slow draining drain until you replace the grill and everything, because it's nail polish, it doesn't come off that easily. So just try and remember to just gently scrape everything off until there's only just small pieces floating on the top. So here's a closer look at uh, the jar, now it's drying, and I'm just going to gently peel off the tape. I just like the way it's made a wee circle there, that's pretty cute. Now I just want to show you, I'm going to keep it upside down because I don't want to um, get any marks on the bottom. But I just want to show you how I would paint it if I turn it this way up. Uh, now I am, I'm sorry, I'm really, really bad at all kinds of calligraphy. So the only thing I can do with any kind of neatness is block capitals. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I just want to make a label because I use tea. I'm a big drinker of tea. So I want to 
just write T on my jar so I know what's inside it. Or more importantly, so other people know what's inside of it, so they can make themselves a cup of tea. Oh, no, that's not straight. See? Can only make them bigger. You can see why I never paint my nails, right? <sighs> so, remember, if you're about to throw out your nail polish, remember that you can keep the brushes and use them as paint brushes. Because I think in a couple of weeks we're probably going to do some painting. So before you throw out your old nail polish, just uh, soak the brushes and nail polish remover and keep them and use them for when we paint. Well, it's a good thing I was going for a rustic style. It's all right, maybe I'll um, do some nail polish remover on that A and show you what it looks like when I finished it. Remember, if you make mistakes, you can always just get out your nail polish remover and wipe it off. 